Welcome back to another video. This is Code Forces round 894 div 3 and this is the second problem that is sequence game. We're gonna see how to solve this. So before that, let's understand the question first. So there are two friends that is uh, one girl Vika and there is one more person known as Tema. So these are like uh, very good friends. Now Vika wants to challenge something to Tema. So for that Vika takes out a piece of paper. She calls this piece of paper as A. Generally it's like a list and uh, she writes it like a1 a2 up till am like there are like assume m elements are there she takes one more paper let's call this paper as b b is given as b1 b2 up till some numbers now what uh, vika does is uh, she writes down a and b is actually some sort of derivation from a how did she derive from a to b is she follows basically two conditions two condition is this a1 should exactly be same as b1 so these two are exactly same these are fixed now from b2 she has one condition that is if a i minus 1 is less than or equal to a i then only that number should be given to b i so i'll try to explain with the help of an example so let's assume a is four three two six double three so these are separate numbers let's put commas now what did uh, Vika say? According to the first condition A1 and B1 is same. So she writes B exactly same. This is same. What is the second condition? A i minus 1 is less than or equal to A i. That means the if you take two consecutive elements the left side number should be less than or equal to the right number. Then only the right number will come to the B element. So here 4 is less than or equal to 3. No 3 won't come. Can 2 come here? No. 3 is less than or equal to 2? No. 2 is less than or equal to 6? Yes. So 6 can come here. Now 6 is less than or equal to 3 according to this condition? No. 3 is less than or equal to 3? It is less than or equal to. It is equal to. So 3 can come. So B have 4, 6 and 3. If this is A, this is B. Now Vika takes the paper B and gives it to Tema. Tema doesn't know A, okay? Tema knows only B. Now, Vika tells Tema that, hey, you know what, I'm giving you 463 here. Will you be able to find out what will be my ARA? So there can be multiple possibilities here. So Tema is like, I'm confused. Uh, she is telling that it is highly unlikely to solve. But we are in Tema's shoes now. Now we should be able to solve it. For that, they are giving you uh, many conditions here. So let's uh, quickly see what are those. They are telling that the input sequence length by more times. The output should not exceed the input sequence length by more than two times. That means uh, if B element have three numbers, that is, uh, this is the three, okay? This is the input that they are going to give. A should have at max only six. There should not be anything more than that, okay? Now, what is one more number? You can just see the constraints. That is one till 10 power nine. And A is also from one till 10 power nine. That's all. We just have to find out what the A can be. Now, from this only, we'll try to figure out. If there are multiple solutions, they're clearly told you can find any. Now, who are we? We are we are Tema. Okay. We gonna solve the answer and give it to Vika. Now, uh, what is 463? Okay, 463 is this 463. Now, what was the first condition that they told? B1, B2, and B3. They gave this as input in order to find A. According to first condition, A1 is exactly same as B1, right? So what do we do? We exactly write that number, A1. That is what we exactly write the number B1. That is what 4. In B array, we wrote 4. Now, what is the next number is AI only when two elements, if we take two elements, the left side element should be less than or equal to the right side element. So if 4 is less than or equal to 6, then only the 6 is qualified, right? 4 is less than or equal to 6, then 6 can come. In between many numbers can come, we just have to find the most probable solution. That's all. Now, can 3 be placed here? Can 3 be placed here? It is not possible because 6 is less than or equal to 3 is not possible. So 3 can't come here. So what is one more option here? In order to place 3, we need to fill some numbers here. What could be number? They told any number that is less than or equal to that number, you can place it. So we can place 2 here, we can place 1 also here, we can place 1 here, any number can be placed. Because uh, let's suppose 1 is here, 6 is greater than 1, so 1 won't go here, 
one is less than three so three can come here right but if it is a very big number like uh, let's say this is 60 and uh, let's say this is 30 I can have uh, how many numbers I can have 29 28 1 2 many numbers can come right so is this a proper way to just subtract the number and then place it so we we are not getting a consistent solution here so what do we do let's take the equal sign only we'll place equal to if you put equal to definitely we can say that because of this equal to support we can push one number see 6 is greater than 3 this 3 won't go so because 3 is less than or equal to 3 this can come but you might have a question here we can just subtract by 1 because the answer is always valid right here you have to notice one thing so let's say it is 4 and this is 6 and this is 1 according to your logic i'm not you are not taking equal to you are taking 1 you are taking less than number because 2 is also valid here if we take 1 the answer will be 0 right if it is less but if it is 0 you have to notice one thing that they told the a value should be starting from 1 so it is contradicting right 0 is not at all possible so because you may have an element 1 in b you it does not necessarily mean that a should have 0 so what is the safest bet that is possible is putting the same number only okay so we are just backtracking from whatever we got so again uh, we just we can try this with the help of an example now what did we do see initially they are giving you the b array b array is the input here okay so in result i am pretty sure that in the result array that is this is a the first number will exactly be same so i am doing result dot pushback of v of zero now what did i do starting from the first number to the last number i am just checking whether if it is greater or not if it is greater than this then i'll in, i'll push it two times if it is less than this then definitely i can put directly right because four less than six in the a array six will directly go up six will directly be the input now uh, if it is greater six is greater than three i am telling that in the a array i need a support that is according to the second condition i need three less than or equal to three that's why i am in, i am pushing it two times so uh, that's all about it and uh, this is the code this is the submission link if you have any doubts uh, let me know in the comment section thank you